I think that the main reason I created Revelation uh, at that starting point uh, was that I'd been a developer. I, w I found that even though um, I, w I was enjoying what I was doing, going from company to company was solving the same problems over and over again. And I realized, wouldn't it be nice if I could do things at more of a global level, where I could create software that was easy to, uh, to just roll out. That was, that was the start of it. There you go. Chris Drake, take one. Yeah, okay, this, is, this might take a little while, so I'm right. just in a weird mood as well. Um, cool. Okay. And that was the main idea that started the development of our flagship product, RefTrack Platinum. Similar thinking also led to the development of Salt, which is now known as RefTrack Insights. RefTrack has been around for 20 years now and is an integral part of the software landscape of many Fortune 500 companies. I think landing companies like Coca-Cola and Kraft and Mondelez are big wow moments. Uh, actually understanding that as a relatively small local Australian company we can access a global market and participate in that quite well. Having people that have been happy to join us, commission only, and stay with us for a very long time is really quite, quite eye-opening and who, who would do that? So clearly there's something that we have that is attractive and works. The heart 20 years ago is probably slightly different to, to today's sort of way of thinking and, and I've morphed and I've, as I've understood uh, what it's all about. Um, as I've evolved in my thinking, it's really been more around uh, companies shouldn't just exist. They need to have, have a purpose. How do we make a difference just by existing? One of the things we like to do as a company that's well established is to give back, to give back into the community, the local community, and also to charities and organisations that are making impact abroad and with particular issues such as human trafficking. Um, and a charity that's very close to our hearts is not for sale. And so the other kind of thing that we like to do is not just in the area of simply uh, doing charities or not-for-profits, but sometimes investing in companies um, where uh, their profits go back into communities. I think that we can either be a river or a dam. I think uh, it's so easy to be a dam and, and so much in society help, you know, sort of talks to us about trying to dam up what we've got in order to, to provide more security for ourselves. But if you really think through that way of, of, of being, it, your, your world becomes smaller and smaller and your impact becomes smaller and smaller because it's all focused on you or your family or you know, what you have influence over and it's all about you. Um, but then if you take that the other way around and say, well, how many people could I impact throughout my life if I was consciously trying to do that? that that's uncountable. I think that you know, they say that you can count the number of um, seeds in an apple, but you can't count the number of apples in a seed. Um, so what, whatever I can do, I know that it'll be multiplied over time because if I invest in somebody today, that, that investment will go on and on through their children, through their contacts. RefTrack Platinum and RefTrack Insights are great strong brands. We're proud that they've been the building blocks for RSC and proud of what we've been able to achieve because of these great ideas. What I admired about Dave and Wendy was when I sat down with them was their sense of community. You know, it was amazing to hear their vision and where they wanted to take the company. And when I talk about the company, I talk about all the brands underneath Revelation Software Concepts. You've got uh, RevTrack, CodeSafe and Brilliant Fit. And they're all very different in their journeys. Well, we knew we had a great idea. Um, we knew we'd built a great prototype. Um, but to be able to scale it, we knew that we needed to build a robust, um, uh, secure, uh, solid platform, software platform. And we just didn't know how to do that. We didn't have the experience to do that. RSC has a 20-year history in that software development space. They have a global footprint already. And uh, so we approached RSE 
um, to mentor us, really, and the rest is history. David and Jackie, wow. Yeah, wonderful people. We love them dearly, and uh, we didn't really know them very much before um, we, we started to, to do business together. They asked us to come and help them in their business without any um, other need than just to sound some things off us and to see what we thought of their ideas, which straight away showed me an openness to learn, which, which is really vital in, in, in any new business. When we talked to them, they, they would talk much, much more about what impact they wanted to have than the business side of things. It was always around how can we increase our impact, not how can we increase our business. Um, and and when you get to know the heart of people uh, through what they say and what they concentrate most of their talking time on. And uh, whenever we'd get together, it was always around this impact piece and how can we multiply that. So when CodeSafe joined, um, it was our job to take what they had in an existing platform, combine all of their new ideas for the future and come up with a ground up, sort of redesigned, brand new platform. So that we got to use some of our existing software and techniques, but also go in some new directions and, and, and start from scratch. Malcolm and I had been friends for a while, actually. We'd been already working out of the same offices. Malcolm, I had a track record in, in this particular area of helping people in their natural talents and, and, and pursuing their natural talents. He opened up to me this sort of the concept of how, what would it look like where more and more people in this world ran in their natural talents and, and what, what would that mean? you know, when people, more and more people around this world could bounce out of bed in the morning and operate out of that place. I think Brilliant Fit stands as maybe a beacon for a new era. Um, I guess it's a way of leading the charge in changing the way people are valued in companies and changing the way individuals can, what, what an individual can bring to a company, I guess. The essence of this started 15 years ago. Um, I came out of corporate life, I had been passionate about understanding what drives performance in people um, and I was really interested in, in what makes people tick um, and how do you get the best out of them. So that's probably the genesis of where it all started. So I remember when I first came out and I remember the tie line on my business card it had liberating people to perform and that really hasn't changed. It's been such a privilege to align with Dave and his vision for companies who truly want to make a difference. Because of this alliance both leveraging the infrastructure and support that he's brought, has enabled us to bring Brilliant Fit to the market in a quicker time frame. And that for us is all about bringing what we offer to the market in a quicker time frame as well. Partnering with other companies obviously initially is a bit challenging because you're trying to, um, you're trying to, to take your individual culture and then, and then add to it and that's, that's not an easy, uh, an easy road to go down but it's definitely well worth it. I think whenever you bring a bunch of people together um, there's all those wonderful quirks and foibles that you have um, that, that, that come to the fore and I suppose the hardest thing was learning how to do life in community. Uh, to lay at, aside your own agenda and look at the broader agenda. I honestly feel we are poised and at a point in time that the seven years that we've been in business has been our apprenticeship. And Revelation have given us the opportunity for, all to, for us to fulfill our assignment, for us to fulfill the purpose on why we were feel we were given the idea in the first place. Being smaller companies and startups, they're very agile in how they go about doing things. They need to be because one thing might not work, so you need to try something else. Well, we're fairly stable, we've got systems and processes in place, products that are working, um, so you can become a bit stale. So by undertaking more agile processes and looking at doing things differently, it was a great learning for us. Where we've benefited is innovations that have occurred across other businesses in these other products have been easy to then look at, understand the value that they're providing 
and then translate those into something that we can use functionally inside of RevTrack. Having these new companies and ideas around us made us change the way we thought about our founding products, RevTrack Platinum and RevTrack Insights. It also made us change our style of working, how we think about developing products, and led to our new rebranded identity. So RevTrack is a brand Keeping it in line with RSC's focus of automating integrity, that's really where I see our brand going. I think it's a great opportunity to force you to think differently and not just do things the way you've always been doing them because you're used to one certain technique. So the new perspectives, new ideas really pushes us and we get to do even better work. As RevTrack users, our clients are actually a part of these stories and we are so excited for what the future holds. We're excited for the impact that we can make together to individuals, businesses and communities all over the world as our solutions evolve. We actually want to thank all of our clients. We want to thank them for coming along this journey and being a part of this amazing journey as RevTrack steps into a new era.